editing software has its own theme music? <laughs> no, no. Because that's awesome. Yeah. This, is, this is unlicensed, lots of British hard rock from the early 90s. Nice. Which I'm, I'm certain, please don't sue me, which I'm certain don't have copyright on. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle did the art cover on that tattoo, so most of the band. No one's nice. gotten you on it yet. <laughs> Yeah, when we took this off and I was looking at it, I, man, I knew right away that this this is the wrong spark plug connector for this bike anyway. Yeah. I think it would work, but it work. Hi, dog. Do you want it on the phone? It's so much fun.
Supply. All right, let's run the intro. <laughs> intro running. Intro running. Or intro not running. Type one, two, three, or something, just so I can make sure that everything works. Are you talking to people who are on? Yes. Hello, people. How are people? Alright. So we're gonna hang. We're gonna start by putting the engine in here, and it'll be really easy. I'll show you. You can just rotate the engine around depending on what we work on. Nicer than I stand with those. Right. No, no, you guys go inside. Murphy! <laughs> <laughs> you want me to close the door? Murphy thinks it's more fun out here, Lee. It's right. <laughs> it's 11 in the morning, and I need to be here. One, two, three. I know, I know. That's, I want that. that's mostly why I need to be here, because I saw it. Because <laughs> it's available. <laughs> it's available. All right. um, so these are your bolts, they're the same. Yeah. Then your uh oh, not this one. Okay. This one. Then your shock bolt. Right, then your swing on bolt. So this is not the easiest part to do. I hang up on I just want to put something in there so it doesn't move around. There we go. I used to have a bolt for this, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah. You brought this in on bolt? Yeah. shoes for working on food as it is. Thanks. 
I think it was too small. small. Yeah. Our bolt is smaller. What? Smaller. Smaller. Oh, it's from this. Yeah, yeah. I gotta just get a piece with a clip. Yeah, just slide it. in. On your wish list. Make stuff a little more orange. So, this is our engine today. This is a VNL3. It's funny, the other one I rebuilt it, uh, was VNL4. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh -huh. I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> and we'll start. This is Ellie. You can't really see her, but it's Ellie. People will see your hands, so these hands are Ellie. Where are the camera? And she's yeah, uh, wave to the camera. Yeah, wave to the camera. So she'll be taking this apart. This is uh, how do how do you want to describe this bike that they came out? A mess. Yeah, a barn find. A barn find. Yeah, I think that's that's a good Rain analogy. Or disassembled. <laughs> so this came out of a P125. I mean, it's been worked on. Uh, this is not the coil that's supposed to be on there. But we'll take it apart. And we'll see what we need to replace. So I will give the floor to Ali. So we will stand here. Okay. We'll do all the work. All right. And we will start by taking off this shroud okay. and this shroud. Okay. So because there are five different bolts, of course. Uh, and eight. Okay, let's see what we got here. Find the three around it. That might be too small. That one might be right. No, let me see. It's not an eight. It's not a ten. Which one? I feel like that. I just had trouble getting it on. I think it was the uh, pumping and uh, pressing. Is it a nine? It's crazy stuff. It's a nine. It's a nine. Yes. Nines don't exist here. Go ahead. They clearly do. You have one. For when you can't find that 10 millimeter socket, use a 9. It doesn't right. click enough. Ours click more. <laughs> Feels like it doesn't click enough, Lee. That, that doesn't make a difference. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. And then just throw them in here. And we'll clean this as we go. Okay. Once this is You want me to go grab a bunch okay. of bags? No, we'll, we'll, okay. I once everything played out, I can tell you what goes where. This one doesn't want to fit on. No, is it a ten then? There just I might not be enough space. Yes, this is a ten. Take this one. Yeah, just bark dogs. What else would they do? There's really? movement outside. Is it stuck? Yeah, it? it won't turn. Let's see. Dig deep, buddy. Dig deep. <laughs> Probably just post and then uh, maybe we'll do this test. Hang on, this over here. Sunday's over here. Got a little hot down here. Yeah. 
think they for, 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 for patina. They just did lots of, like, stuff on the Lots screen. of stuff. Lots of stuff. Well, like, they put fiberglass on the frame, and one of the bolts that held on the center stand ended up getting fiberglass to the frame. Uh, it's not it's the first time I've had it. This is Take the yep. So we're going to go ahead and do the bolts on here. So, uh, next thing is we should take the flywheel off. All right. We can do it the right way. I'll show you how to do it the right way. See, right. this is broken off already, so we're going right. to have to fix that. That fin. No, like, no. Where the, the space for the bolt. Hey, look at that. With the aluminum repair that I'm getting, yeah. we can yeah, build yeah. this up and probably fix it. Um, I'll show you how to do it right, but mm -hmm. then I'll show you how to do it the easy way. Okay. So, the right way is using a special tool. Yeah. To block the flywheel in, right? So that, that would sit move. around here. Yeah. More or less. Then it'll get bolted in using these bolts. Yeah, well, you can also do it. I don't want to go in. There you go. So you would. You get the idea, yeah? yeah right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you get the idea. I have two, this might be for the easy. This one might be easier. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that way you're holding the flywheel and you yes. can untighten this guy. Yeah, yeah. But we're cheating. can hold it with one hand. It's not gonna run out of your hand. Just hold it down and go for it. There you go. That's easy enough. Okay. That's why we want an entire track. Ninety-nine dollars. But that one and that one it cost me. Nice. There we go. But I'm sure you probably have to do it. Costco. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We could use a new Corpus drill. We can always use it. Do you guys have a Costco card? No. No. Well, well, I'll, I'll let you know next time I go. Ellie has a sister. Or Alice has a sister. Oh, what? Ellie doesn't have a sister. That's going to go on there. Okay. Right? Yeah. So the, the way this tool works yeah. is this will screw in the outside of the flywheel, and then we will bolt this one in, and it will pull it off. Yeah. Kind of like a corkscrew? Yeah. All right. Go. So we're not wine drinkers. She's very knowledgeable about her alcohol. <laughs> Parents. <laughs> That's why I want you to sell children services. <laughs> they taught me so many things. <laughs> My dad said I shouldn't talk to strangers. <laughs> does it feel like it's blocked or does it feel like the threads are just dirty? It feels like the threads are probably just dirty. Okay. You don't need to go all the way down, but make sure you know how to do it right. I, I think that's about it. When you go, keep that on there. Because we could use the impact, but I want to. I want you to feel how hard this thing is on there. I, I can hold this. You can, hold on, take it off. You can by hand screw it in until it touches. Yeah, there you go. Now, physics. Hold on, hold on. Physics. Very easily. You pull as far out as possible. Okay. Makes it easier. Okay. Then put one hand on there just to hold it. Hold it straight and go. There you go. Keep going, keep going. 
and you can see it starts to move up. And now, see how it wiggles? Yeah. Right? That should be enough, and now you should be able to pull it up. Just you can do it quick. It's, there's a magnet. Oh, there's a magnet. Hold on. That's one spin. You have two hands and you can pull. Then uh, remove this. You can probably do it by hand if not. Here. I need my tool back. Yeah. Next up, we will take this off first. Mm -hmm. So try to fiddle out the wires right. out there, and then we'll take the stator plate. Sorry, the stator plate off and pull the cables. Yeah. Cables, wires, wires. Kabel in Deutsch is wire. It's not wire. No, no. I mean, you get it. No, 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 okay, yeah, it's, it's for sure. So this has a bump at some point somewhere. And that mm -hmm. bump will, yes, yeah, and that bump will activate the little lever on the point signature uh -huh. and you can't get more than a contact. I don't know what it is. Something, something in contact. up there and see us. These are probably in there pretty hard, so you you want to put pressure on it and then twist. Yep. And another thing you can do is if it's I put it in. If it's too hard, we can apply physics again. I'll, I'll show you real quick. Uh, yeah. not, not on these, but if you have a screwdriver with a hole in it, like this guy, you can just oh. put a lever through it and it makes it easier to pull. Passing on the tradition, right? I know. You took these out? Yeah. yeah. So you can probably pull the stator, but you gotta try and fill these through that hole. Alright. I'll take this. This thing's been sitting. We found a squirrel nest in here. Uh, good. Dead squirrels? No, no, no squirrels, we found, but we found the nest. Lots of acorn shells, so okay. that's where we're going. We're going squirrel. Can we? So this cable is actually just screwed in there. See if uh -huh. you can just unscrew it. So next up, we will take these guys off. If you go underneath here, you will 
feel these like number eight nuts, number seven, I think. And we'll just put a screwdriver in here yeah. and pull it off on the other side. Actually, that it doesn't want to fit. No? No. Is it too small or too big? Did you oh, put okay. it on the wrong way? You Maybe. put it on the wrong way. <laughs> T square and yeah. Nice. I look like an idiot in front of all of your adoring no, fans, no. Lee. No, that is no, that's no being an idiot. Learning. <laughs> yeah. Learning. Learning. Yeah, go. Okay. I can hold this. You just make sure it sits on. Push it against. Now you can hold it basically, and I can just. It should be off. Yeah. force on the side of the nut, not on the side of the bolt. Right, so here we have the the bolt side all the way the long yeah. one and you want to put apply the force to the to the nut, especially when tightening it later. <coughs> done on this side. We could take the Kickstarter drive off and everything, but it makes it easy once we split the engine to have a lever to like hold it. Yeah. So we'll go on the other side, we'll take the hub off. Someone of you sweeping my floor later. <laughs> Clean you did. All right. Unbelievable. You made yourself the cleaner. So this is your eight inch hub. Mm -hmm. Basically this is what changes your bike into an eight inch bike. You can put a 10 inch hub there and run 10 inch wheels. Mm -hmm. um, and this works for any, like you could put this on a Stella if you want. Um, just to turn a Stella engine into an eight inch bike. Yeah. So this is usually not mounted on this end. Okay. Right? Because the P125 had 10 inch wheels like the gray one outside. So we'll take these nuts off and throw them in there. Keep these are very valuable. So you can't just buy these at the hardware store. The big ones, yeah. yeah. They serve two functions. They create a big surface to sit on the wing. Okay. That's why they're so huge with a tiny hole. Because they all have these wonky these wonky nuts. You know sometimes I'll always take them. Here. Mm. I think I'm actually going to move this later into the kitchen. Parts cleaner? Yeah, because it, it's going to make noise over the camera. Yeah. 
And you can be the cleaner inside. Oh, for this, you just put it in. Yeah, it's just set it and forget it. Yeah. It's from Bo Peel. Right like now. Your crock pot. <laughs> this guy's going to be tricky. Like, okay. So you can try and bend it. You get, you get oh. in there and you try to bend it open. We want to straighten it out as much as we can. Yeah. It will make it easier to get it out. You know, we were doing a counter pin running yesterday. I was taking the uh, color box. So the other one should come by itself. Now what you can do is you can, nope, that just broke. Problem solved. What you can do is just give me a cover. I think that's what we want to do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's broken. You shouldn't use the same cover pin twice. Sometimes you can get in here, right? Hold yes. And try and put, yeah, no, no, that's not going to work. So just get in there straight. Keep pressure that way. It's all about getting it over that first hole. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking over your work. That's okay. Close. Well, basketball <laughs> player. Oh, you know what I recently found out? There is a. 15% chance <laughs> I played against the mountain. Because he played, he's my age, yeah. and he played for Reykjavik when he was younger. And we played against Reykjavik in a tournament when I was 13. So I made, and we won by three points. I remember that's the game of my life. Everyone was my size, and I was the tallest on my team. <laughs> they, they were two years older, so they had, they had a head start on puberty, and the mountain was the mountain. That was mountain. Yes, please. You put it in here? Yeah. Okay. So, you could either hold this and try to get it off or you this guy. Try and put some. There we go. This might be a good place to tell you that I've never taken any of these off because it's usually Matt who does this. <laughs> I wonder how this will come off. Yeah, how would this come?
I think we'll leave this on. So when we take the gearbox out, we would just have a front here and we'll drive the shaft out. Okay. But we have enough space now to work on the clutch, so let's focus on that. Ed, every engine bolt, including cylinder, and the ones that keep the engine together are 11, but these are 10. It's not going to go anywhere. There you go. I was just battling the outside. You can. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm just hypothetical. Well, in front of ten people. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm just asking. <laughs> Am I using my last name on these things? Already on the right here, Dad. This, this, usually they're stuck a little bit. So you can just try. Easy to live with. Just get it with the rubber side. So yeah. orange is rubber. Yeah. Rubber. Yellow is nylon. Or should I hit it? Gentle. Very good. A little less gentle. There you go. There you go. Really easy. You hope the rod just in. reeked of the wound or anything. You can use this. So when you once you push it. Oh. Well, <laughs> that works too. We're not gonna clean that, just you can put that back. Yeah. Right? So the clutch, that's see this this knot yeah. around it? They have one tab that's bent in. So you can go in there and bend it open. This is where we need another special tool. So this is a clutch holding tool. Okay. Right? We're, we want to untighten this, which means we're turning it this yeah. way. So you want to block it and prevent it from going that way. So this little tooth here hangs in there. And then this guy. Goes in there. No, they tighten it down, tighten it all the way down. Alright. Then in order to get this, this is what you call a castle nut. Yeah. Get these off, there's a special tool with the teeth on it. So when you put it on, you rotate a little bit, you feel like it's, it grips. Okay. 
So, really important, these like to slip. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Left. Left. Okay, awesome. So you put them on and you put pressure on. Yeah. Not, not like break my stand, but put yeah. pressure on. And then you can, so you pull, you'll see. You want to make sure it's seated in there really nicely. Yeah. Cool. This is not easy. Yeah, this is easy. Let's make now. Put that on there. Let's make our own impact. So you can make your own impact. Do this. Right? Or hammering. Okay. Or. Or. This is my preference. <laughs> we'll go with the or. I, I mean, I just want to show you how it's done properly. Right. You want to make sure it, it's, it's gripping, and then you go. This castle nut, we don't need to take it out. Uh, the, the castle washer, the one with the tabs on it. We don't need to take it out, it'll come out with the clutch. Now the clutch is usually on there. Not super tight, but not enough that you can lift it out like that. So, you take two flat hacks, one on each side. And you make the lever. But, now listen, you don't want to push too hard. You see how it comes because you don't want to damage this surface. Yeah. Right. If you're skeptical and need to apply more force, you can just put something underneath there. But keep going, you can go almost all the way underneath. There you go. There you go. Someone needs a clutch, please. Ooh, yes we do. Yes so we the do. oil seal that was on this behind this bearing it's probably broken. That's why it was sucking gas. All the smell is bad gas. See how it's stuck here on the crankshaft? That's probably why it was sifting through into the gearbox. Okay. That's a pretty good shape. Uh, wait till we take it apart and put it on fire. Because <laughs> it's soaked in gas. All right, so you got everything out here, except yeah, we can lift that guy out. We're going to take your oil pump drive out this one and never ever put it back in because yeah. you don't need it but even though you will always need this spacer like this thing even though it's not going to drive anything no no you take this guy see how it has this notch here yeah that's why this the woodruff key for the clutch sits No, I didn't. We'll take this guy off right now. I don't remember if this guy goes in there. Right. You get the idea, you push it in there. And then when you... No, no. Close it, close it. There you go. When you press it, you expand it, and you can lift it up. <laughs> Don't worry if you to break it. Right? It's okay. Circuit pliers. You got it? Awesome. And 
Now you can just lift that out. There's a washer on top, but that will come out later. Okay. Washers to get cleaned? Yeah, sure. Just Sometimes this place is uh, not sealed either, but I don't, I don't think that's a problem here. All right, so we have everything off of this end so far. I mean, once we got the engine apart, I'm going to come back and visit. No. There you go. Spider webs. <laughs> Who even knows what will be in here anymore? So these, um, circles. Yeah. The first time I took them off, that's where you went. They went flying and I couldn't find them. <laughs> so what you will do is you can do pull them off with your fingernails, like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. the there's several side. options. You can grab them and just lift them off like that, but always make sure you're not losing them. Yeah. Go for it. When it comes to the brake, there's a nice way of taking this brake on. This is how your brake works. This is your brake lever. Right? Once you pull it, this tab here pushes the brakes apart yeah. and pushes against your drum that you already took off to brake. So we can push this and get a little screwdriver in there. Right? And then with another screwdriver, we'll try to pry it gently one by one out. It's got to come out and over this tab, and then it's got to come out there too. You can't just Pull it out crooked, it's got to be equal in both ways. Oh. I am going to do this, and you can start there. Did you feel how light these were in there? Yeah. Okay. When we put them back in, we're not going to tighten them much more because they like to break. This really is just to hold the. There's no force on this back plate. Okay. 
it just prevents dirt from coming into the new drum. Christian Anderson. What do you retract your message? I saw it. I know <laughs> with the gloves, but hand, the, the, the entire engine is dirty. So dirty. And tetanus is expensive. <laughs> you see these uh, rubber pieces? That's where you play this mount. This one usually tends to disintegrate. I'm gonna replace those for me. New engine. You can try and pick up. Pick one on each. Take or screwdriver, whatever you think. The dogs are quiet. Either they're sleeping or they ran. Terrifying. Or they ran away. I'm gonna go check. They couldn't have done both, they're, they're pooping in the living room. <laughs> that always is. Hey, never. Not now. So I have, a, I have a line on the cheap used Simonini pipe like on the spring. Yeah. The sound. I would actually love to find um, a replacement decal for the sticker on that thing. Devil sticker. I forgot the. It was a weird brand. Right? It's devil. It's it's devil. Can you like look it up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. right. Now that we have the space here, we can also take this guy off and this guy off. But I think we'll take the engine apart first and we'll come back to this later. There's a small cotter pin in here. Let's focus on the fun stuff first. This is kind of Rotate it so we can take the cylinder off. So these are all 11s. This should be. This was a 10, right? Is she watching? Hi. There's love. Watch you getting a text in a few minutes. <laughs> Dad text her quick. It's almost there. It's warm. That I don't know. That doesn't seem to warm, right? Is it warming up? No, it warms, but the temperatures are weird. It's fun watching myself do things with a delay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you just eighteen watching this in your record. Dave is in here, I think. I met Dave yesterday at the Metro. He has a really cool Zuma 125, stretched out black. It's up for sale on consignment at Metro right now. Okay. The pictures are going to come soon. Which Dave? I, no, A Dave. A Dave. A Dave. 
I'm not going to say last names. Okay. You got it, they come up easy. So how's your understanding of an engine? You know what certain things do. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they've just said hi. <laughs> But you, you can keep taking it off yeah. until it almost falls off. And then, there you go. Just look for that. Put it in there. You also got some washers. They all come off when you pull it. Oh, okay. When I was working with Tony building that 260 Quadrini, he did what I'm doing now. Kept putting tools away. It was so nice. Because when you, you know, right, yeah. Ellie, when you work there, you just yeah. put your stuff and you want to focus on that. But it, it's actually important to keep a clean surface. That's a great challenge. The wrenches were all organized. That's right. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Put your wrenches in order. Yeah, Feel rudder. Take off the spark plug? No. Okay. Is there a bolt There's a bolt still. Yeah. Oh. Do you see this? Yeah. yeah. What are they doing? No, no. So, putting so there's this, this is correct. So, this sits on top of it. Yeah. And it yeah. is where, okay. you put, where you tighten your shroud down. I don't think there was a bolt in there. There was. We took it out. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. I wasn't sure if it was just another one. You're wrenching on your first engine. You have no place to say what they were doing. I wasn't sure. <laughs> no, you have no place in blaming other people. Don't, don't. You haven't seen what they've done to the scooter lady. This is the end of a hammer. Do you have a reference of what it should, was supposed to look like? Maybe it was supposed to be that way. There's fiberglass in yeah. it. Yeah, okay. I get that. <laughs> fiberglass in the frame. It's magic. They fiberglassed over a bolt and the cable. can't get the cable off now. He'll fit in great in this cool. Sorry there. That, that cable's just Let's see. Wait. Good job. I like to do that. That's fun. How many you got? Two? Two. Uh, okay, here's the fourth one. Oh, there's no lock washers. What no. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We you know you know we talked about this. You know what the engine does, right? This is you know, right now it doesn't do the boom boom part. This is the boom boom part. The piston. Yep. So when the piston is at bottom, through if you look in, right, you see this port. Yeah. This window. Yeah. It's called a port. This port in the back. This port in the side is where your gas is. Okay come through here into the crankcase and come into the cylinder. Mm. Then they explode and they go out through the exhaust port here. At a certain point, about here, your, if you look in, your intake ports are closed, but the exhaust port is still open. So this is when stuff goes out. Yeah. When we get to rebuilding this, I'll teach you everything about timing, so what, what means, and okay. squishes, and compression. But you get a general idea of how gases get in and gases go out. Okay. You can pull this out. This is a big one. Pull it. Right now, it's stuck on the piston. Yay. We have a, let's, okay, let's look inside. See if we have any marks of seizing. Mm -hmm. You know, like where the piston would have got stuck. Yeah. Seems like there's something there that can buff out. No, so I put it on the No, Don't tell mom. <laughs> we already discussed that with mom. Yeah. It's safer. 
Yeah. yeah and that P outside runs so much better with the 150. So that's your uh, your gasket. Right? So the yeah. gasket. We gotta take that off, otherwise you can't split the engine. But we can just cut it because we're gonna have to cut it. However you want it folded. We tell it cut. Now, we could pull the crankshaft with the piston on, but I want to show you how to take okay. the thing off. If you look in there, in these holes, there's a circlip again. Okay. Your, your greatest enemy. Yeah. Your old foe. But we got to turn this around, though, because right now you're opening it. Yeah. We want it to squeeze together. Okay. There's a thing on there that I lost. So don't, don't judge me. tool works. Right now you're squishing it. Yeah. If we put it on the other side. Yeah, it's a good reminder, right? <laughs> you haven't run away yet. You know the story, they ran away as soon as I got them half an hour, right? All four of them. Oh god. <laughs> so close the door. I'd like to hear that story now. Someone rang my doorbell, and I went downstairs, and I saw the door, the back door open. I'm like, oh, I know why he's here. And he was super judgmental. Can't you take care of your dogs? I'm like, come on, man. Right. We can start. We only need to take it out one side. You see the circle in there, right? Spraying in my face. Oh. Yeah. That's light. Tough love. It's true. You practice before you do it this way. So that here's the thing: you squeeze it together, and then you try to pull it out. But once you squeeze it together. You gotta move it to the center so it's not in the groove anymore. Mm -hmm. It's I mean you push it all the way together. This demonstration is I failed the end. Here's what I see is going wrong. You, uh, you're holding. First of all, you're holding it sideways when you squish. You gotta hold it straight, and then you gotta move it once you have it straight to the center. 
Yes, you just do it for me, please. Yeah. No, the other one you will take out once it just is out. Okay. Into the first washer? Yeah. Okay. Just drill that. What did we learn? Don't don't trust the uh, or make sure that you do this work at least as well on your floor. Both both are lessons. But which one is the better lesson? I this piston is cracked, I think. Uh, now we gotta put a 150 in. Now you gotta put a 150 in. We have to. I don't have another choice. It's almost my mom. No other choice. No other choice. Not great. It's either that or two million CC. Put <laughs> <laughs> a half on a goose in there, make it burn. The varnish is. The varnish has made everything stuck. Everything. Yes. This is not how you do this. Okay. No, it's okay. There's a tool for this. I don't have it. John, if you're watching, I need to order that. Did you pick up the oil underneath? We got it. When, uh, once that drips and we'll move it over, I'll slop it up. Yes, Mr. Cleaner. Look out. Did that break, by the way? I feel like something fell out. Yeah, yeah there's some little bearings. Okay, well, that's good. I don't know if you can use it. Yeah. It's exciting. Um, yeah, you might need it. You might need it. Yeah. It's so, like, weak to me. Let's see what I can find. All right. So, wait, wait, what did it? Yeah. Oh, you got it? Okay. So now we're getting to the fun splitting part. So it's 11. I think it's 11 volts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Plus one on the other side. Okay. And these are all yours. So these will not fall, these are attached to the engine, and these go all the way through. So once you take them out, you can probably just push them by hand and they fall out, or they fall out by themselves, and then they land in the oil and it's all gross. It's already all gross. Gross must be You can't, you can't. 
can't get this tool in here. This is what my SS smelled like the first time I wrote it in the box. Because all the varnish was stuck in the exhaust. Yeah. And I didn't smell it that much when I wrote it, but you can see Matt and Care and Stanley. Ah, ah. That's the only one. When I first opened the gas tank, there wasn't much left in it yesterday. But... You should be able to get it. You know, you know the trick with the bolts on the dishwasher? Uh, the, the, the dryer? I went with, uh, instead of bolts, I went with a 10 foot length of chain. Oh, yeah. In there. And then you wrap it in a couple of towels or t shirts and you put it in your dryer. Oh. And then your wife's not home. Yeah, so you're, you're going to get me so cute. Saying this would clean up nicely in the dishwasher. <laughs> you need a Hobart machine. What? Joe's and getting. Those industrial dishwashers. Joe said he's going to these while he. No, clean up real nice. The problem if you use the like dishwasher taps, mm -hmm. they oxidize. Right. Yeah. I mean, I did it on mats, and it gives it this nice dark gray shine over it. Yeah. But I think this, these cases will clean up real nice. Yeah, it seems like it's just mainly grease and fire. Disney is not as fun for me. I'm ready, I'm ready for uh, <laughs> civilized society. Yeah, we're right now. This is a kids show, right? Princess. It's a kids show. Sunday morning. This is TV. Kids show. This is TV 13. Next up on Nickelodeon. Is that so we're playing Nickelodeon? I think so. That's, you know, you can't tell much. Cause, well, I can't tell if it's dimples or if it's, you know, built up varnish. Yeah. It's okay, no, it's not. Yeah. See, this is a different person, too, that wasn't there. Is it? Yeah, this one is going to be different. Grab the DM. Yep. No. Try pushing instead of pulling. Say ring gap on these. Is, so it's like out here, so you just push it. <laughs> ring gap on these is too big. No. Putting all of this. Stop looking at chat. No one's talking. No, I was trying to count the delay. I'm determined uh, it's 10 seconds long. What did you lose? Did you just drop the bolt? Oh. 
Managed to break a washer. That's okay. Well, time and rest managed to break that too. Well, lots of hardware that we're going to have to buy. Like, lots of washers. Lots of washers. Lock washers. It's fun when they're just washers kind of randomly screwed out in there. <laughs> except for one. You may cheat. <laughs> no, you may cheat. No, but I think it's important to feel how tight they are on. Yep. Right. We get some more tarks, so I took it down to the torque shop. I feel like it didn't age very well. Oh, We're not done yet. Are we? No, what about these? Oh, okay. Forgot it was. <laughs> you got that one? Yep. Yeah. Apparently, the dirt. The dirt is a Netflix film on Monty Ha! I didn't want it. It just came out. I don't want to tell you how many times I've seen that. So this is the only one where instead of a washer it has this piece, but there still should be a lock washer on it. It's really uh, on there. It might be straight. Yep. That sucks. That's going to take some major operation. Try hand this one yet? Hmm? It might be stripped, but it might not be on that tight. No, I, I think it might be turning back here. Yeah, that's what it does. So, this one's always a little loose. You can put it in position. Just jam a screwdriver in there. You got the other one. Yep. Cool. There we go. So 
so see how there's stuff that goes all the way mm -hmm. through there. This bolt, this <laughs> bolt is exposed, so yeah. there's a lot of grime and they, they can rust, so they can get stuck. Anyway, but this one doesn't seem to be stuck. Watch out, there's water in it and it's warm. It's not hot. Yep, you're good. It's hot. Live I'm busy. Dogs are petting, and there's nothing else for me to do. Yeah. Do you just go downstairs to come back up? <laughs> yes. It's the most fun part of going downstairs. All right. Um, Winner. Well, we're almost done. We can. Well, we can run. Put this guy in already. So we'll just do water, right? First, like a Carolina pine forest. Yeah. Sure. And you can it's smell them over, it'll be delicious. Put it on, and there's three buttons on the right. Mm -hmm. One is on and off. So I put this whole thing down in there, or just dump yeah. them in? No, no, you put it in. And if the level, the water level is a bit too low, you can pour some more water in it. Okay. I think I have more. Yeah. So it's going to get Alright, cool. So this one, same mm -hmm. one, is on the other side. Alright. It's a little tricky. I have an extension that might help you. Getting things.
gum. Getting things. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even sure that there was something going on here for a second because it was so dirty. Yeah. Like, it looked round. Yeah. No, I can't get this pulled out. Which one? Oh, this one's get it, like, drop down. I can't get it. It's like... Which direction is it supposed to go? Up? Up. There's actually... It looks like there's still something in it. There's a washer. Wash it off. I'll just draw it off. Okay. And so let's take the hammer. Yeah. Okay, and we're going What you guys got? Oh, we're just in a bolt. It's not, not moving. I, uh, I'm assuming the, the gasket's broken. Yeah. And it's just grind up. I think we can safely assume the gasket's broken. The seals are shot and... Pulling. Just stud. Uh, yeah, you pump. That's fine. That's okay. It's a little rusted together. Yeah. It's a unit now. It's a unit that now won't come out. That's the problem. It'll come. Nope. Never mind. Here you go. Yeah, put it in Actually, hold on. Let me see that. This, this section is very exposed. Good way to take the selector box up is they're trying to push it into another gear, which okay. will lift it out. Yeah. Oh, we can very. Oh, oh yeah, you got. It's, it's going to be that way. Or we can just hammer it into another gear. Yeah. Well, how this works. <laughs> so this piece sits in here. Yeah. Right? You see that? And depending on what position it is in, like fourth gear, 
This will be out a certain way, and it will be in fourth gear. Mr. Cleaner. So right now it's probably in first gear. So see if you can save some mess. He's just flipping over. Next time I'll bring an engine into your kitchen. <laughs> I just took one out of our kitchen. Yes, it is. Sorry. The V and A was in our kitchen. kitchen. I just took it out. Switch, switch stands. So there's multiple ways to not split the engine. You can just do this. You'll see here's your gaps, right? You just gently bang it out of the way. I like to use the right tool for the right job. So this is a, a splitter plate. It's the same way that works on the uh, on the flywheel. Yeah. Or basically just pushing it away from the crankshaft. There's one place where it will get stuck, and that is here. Okay. So we'll probably have to put a Oops. yeah, put a screwdriver in and hammer it out. Before we do that, there is the oil drain bolt. Can you take that off? This one. This and make sure the oil drains in position. <laughs> no, I didn't know oils. <laughs> oil should be mostly out by yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> I like how you cleaned off the VN part on your engine. But we just wanted to see what the handle yeah. was. It's red. That's uh, it's a gasket. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was the color that don't, was supposed uh, to be. Don't put the gasket in there. Right, it's right. It's paper. Yeah. So it just goes on. In a certain way. Which is usually this way, but we don't have the attachment there, so it just should it should do it. Watch. You see how it splits? Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. So, let's look at it. It's split here. How does it look in the back there? Split, but not as much. Yes. So, this is the place where it gets stuck. So, let's leave it there. Maybe you can go a little bit back. Because we don't want it to be yeah. crooked. So, that's fine. No. There is a special, if you put your finger here, there's a special part on the engine. It's kind of, I guess, meant to ding it apart. So, I'll just give it a couple. Now you can keep going. Now that's, that's loose in, by the way.
I don't even know what this is. What's up? Oh, the crap in here? That. The yeah, orange dude. stuff. The orange. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Austin Terry, this is what is this seventy nine? The motor, I think, is an eighty. Yeah, the motor is an eighty. P125. Yeah, it's a 125, right? It's not a 150. Yeah, it's a 125. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I looked at that freaking. This is your kickstart assembly. Okay. Let's put it back on just so you know. You can't pull any of that. Yet. Here's your. Gearbox. Yeah. I'm going to take the gearbox apart, which is going to be your new friend, the surface pipe. <laughs> Big one. Watch when you, you can get your fingers caught. Put pressure on it. Yeah. 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 Close. Someday I'll figure out how to use mm -hmm. this. Oh, there's no nice way to use that. Mm -hmm. Not a nice way, but a way that works at least semi-consistently. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Don't hit your head again. Just like in the in the movies. What movies? Like <laughs> some movies, so much as a YouTube video. Yeah. We want to make sure that we remember they're there. So, the gearbox can only go in one way. Okay. Your gears. When we put it back together, you, I'll, I'll tell you how you can see if they're wrong. Okay. But what I'm showing you now is a way that you can fuck, screw it up. Okay. Alright, see, so there's a washer there, you pull your washer. Yeah. Where, where's the circuit? They're going on the okay. So we're basically putting it in yes. the opposite way. So you can pull this washer. Alright. Now you can pull the first gear. And then uh, you flip it. Right? Because this is the way it was. Yeah. Second gear? Second gear. It's important you pull them straight. You don't want to flip them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, flip them. Third gear? There's no Amstellas, there's not a washer here, but there's a washer there. So what we're doing now is we're taking a cable tie. Okay. 
put just stuff everything on them together in the right order. They will never flip. All right. And you know exactly. That's smart. How they work together. It's one to grow on. Your cruciform looks really good. I don't think we even should take that apart. I don't see the yeah. point of taking this apart. Otherwise, I would say Not let's more. take it apart now. But there's no point. Blame someone. Alright, so let's loosen this up and we'll tilt it upwards again. It's time to take the crankshaft out. So, if you were not using this crankshaft anymore, <laughs> but, but, let's see what we're doing with this crankshaft. Use this tip Put your hand on it, it might just fall out. Always hold it. See how these three holes? Align with the clutch, the clutch cover that we took off. I need to let go. I don't think it's gonna fall. I'm sure if you want me to keep holding it or not. All right. So this is. Same manner, but this time instead of pulling the cases apart, we're pushing the crankshaft through because the crankshaft is what's going to give. Marking paint is, is honestly what it looks like. Want it to be pretty on no, the it's inside. No, it's too thick. I think yeah. someone maybe put sealant on there. I, yeah. I don't know. I can't. I can't tell you. Everyone knows that beauty comes from the inside. So we want to make the inside pretty. <laughs> now this is where we will see. This is probably where it, it was sucking through. You seal actually looks better than the ones that just recently took out, but also very soft. Mm -hmm. Next up, we take the drive shaft out, and then we can take the primary, the primary transmission. Yeah. So, you know, your clutch sits on here uh -huh. on the crankshaft. So when your clutch turns, it drives this gear, okay. which then will drive your drive shaft, uh, your drive shaft with your gears, which will then drive your. Okay. There is no nice way of doing this. Well, I actually haven't found out yet if there's a nice way of doing it. So <laughs> if hold you it. have, if you're listening and yeah. have a nice way, please let us know. You would like to know it. But never use a normal hammer because you will bend it. Right, because yeah, the nylon is it's coming, so watch yeah. out. Yeah. It's, it's heavier than you expect. It's heavier than you expect. It's not that heavy, but so this primary gear is held in here with this special washer, right? There's two tabs that keep them in place. Yeah. Uh, only one tab is bent to it. But, so you can get in there uh, and bend that tab open. I'll hold it and just ding a little bit on it. Not, not that way. Okay, and once again. 
see what we're doing. Right. So that should give us enough to take this one off. This is a very special nut. It's a it's like a 13, but the size inside is way bigger. Mm -hmm. so You doing okay then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, here. <laughs> Go! She's a left-hander, so she thinks righty uh, Lucy. Not true. Doesn't make a difference. No, I'm just kidding. So that washer fell into my sink. On the other bill. I found one. In your sink? That on the garbage disposal? No, in my bathroom. Oh. I... am You know... I don't have... That bathroom. opens up a lot of other questions. No, no, no. The, the toilet down here. Hold up. We're not we're not gonna take this out quite yet because when you pull this, there's gonna be see these needles, needle bearings in there. They are all gonna come falling out. Okay. So two ways you do it: you put your hand underneath. Or I like to. Hold it there. Okay. I'm gonna turn this. And very simple. On here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Make sure you there all the time. <laughs> all right, so we, what do we have? Uh, we have the primary out. So in there, there are springs. So the outer gear is loaded and stuck with springs because when you engage the clutch, and imagine you had no buffer, you would always yeah. grind in the heat, so the springs in these springs also break, so you, they rattle. We'll pull these bearings and throw them in the parking lot. Yep. So right now I feel like they're not turning well because it's just a varnish. Yeah, that's pooped up with crap. We gotta take see these tabs. Same deal, we're gonna bend them. Yeah. Untighten them, they go 11 again. This is and then take these out. This is this is a bearing retainer. You see how these go over the bearing, so yeah, so it won't fall out. It won't fall out that way. And there's a circlip the other way, the other way. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's actually the most. You have plenty of chances to sort of circlips. That's the magic. Right, so we have to bend them out first. You know how it works. Yep.
Murphy's hot. Murphy's son. <laughs> what is this over it you keep talking about? Oh, give me that just the jar. Oh, well, we're not, we're not quite done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually. Then it's just extra clean. Yeah. Alright, dogs. You want me to take off the bearing retainer? Yeah. Put it on here. We'll, we'll get the other jar. Here. Can you get the other one too? So this piece comes out. Expose my ignorance on YouTube too. You know, I just did. <laughs> yeah, leave it to your daughter. Yeah. You know, it's my notorious Just as a ring, just a dollar. That's actually that's a that's a tool. Squish camera. Put it on the paper and let it dry. Just to get out. You got that? Okay. Okay. So now she's to take the seal off. Yes. Yes. That was great. That's easy to go in there, and you just tilt it, and it will just pop out. Pull this right. You see, you almost had a Yes. It's very important to never scratch the surface here. That is not right. You have gloves all over your hands. Yeah, but the gloves have oil all over them. Yeah. Right, I got it. Give it, it's, it's, it's pressed against against the surface. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm going to throw these in the dry. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah, this tool. Only, I only made this tool for this one application. <laughs> so, yeah. That's an 11. No, that's actually an 8. I'll give you an 8. Why is someone I'm taking out leave? That is 
the clutch cable adjusters. Are they driving back from Nashville? I hear you're watching. And everyone, everyone got quiet real quick. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. We'll probably talk to the It's been down up on the TV. I could talk to the banner if it was just really dirty. It looks like there's dirt coming off of it. Is it like turns? It looked bad, but it might just be illusion. I'll find out once I get it out. There's people, other people living in my neighborhood. <laughs> Here, if you turn it, you can see it's like. Yeah, it does look a little bit bad. We'll still clean it. I might, I might cut it because these also go in carburetors, so I might cut it. In before carburetor. Remind it, tell John for an adjustment screw. I don't know if there's a big box in there. Okay. And then we take the. Uh, Actually, I. No, have... we'll take that one out. And I, have, I got a bag full of adjustment screws oh. with the, of the million things this guy bought. Okay. Thousand bucks worth. So, cool. this is your rotary pad. Okay. Right? So your crankshaft turns in here, yeah. and it has a very fine space in between. Probably like half a millimeter. And this space defines when the engine sucks fresh gas is in and when not. So it's a little bit like those windows in your cylinder. What can happen is stuff gets caught in here and it heats up the entire rotor. It's called a rotary pad. And it heats it up. And then we have a problem because we need to fix that. The right way to fix that is weld aluminum on and have someone machine it out. You can do it with JB weld by yourself or you can dremel it open and put a uh, reed intake on it. But it seems to be Good looking here. It's it's dirty. We'll know when we clean it up. I know it's gonna be. Um, so we got the ridges. We have these uh, the retainer clip out. Yeah. Right. So let's take the bearing. Out. Okay. This is where I'm looking for the bearing. Oh, yeah. 
but this is a fun tool. This is actually an original uh -huh. That's tool set. These are bearing pullers. You could you could just put a socket on it from the other side and hammer it out, but we try to reuse this guy, right? So not yet. This how should I call it? What do you call it? This rod it goes in here. Mm -hmm. And when you tighten it, this expands. Yeah. So we want to get this stuck inside the bearing. Then we can and it use won't come out. And the other things to pull it out. Basically, we're doing the same thing that we did earlier, but the opposite way. Okay. So it goes in there. Okay. So a good way to do it is put it on. Hang around it, and then we we'll use two 14s, two 14 wrenches to get it tightened up. Okay. One. It looks very tedious to put all these tools on. But it's a lot easier than... It's worth the time, yeah. really. Instead of using a hammer or banging it out or whatsoever, but take your time. Good tools are important. I'm telling it to you, not to the internet. Okay. <laughs> I, I just agree with time. We're telling it to you too, internet. The internet needs to know. <laughs> the internet makes a lot of mistakes. It's like half of the internet, Dad. Oh, I'm not, I'm not perfect. Not a know it all. I learned this myself in this garage. That's pretty much in there. Now we need to tighten. I kind of want to have a wrench that fits that size. So here's my trusty. This is how strong these bearings are pressed into your cases. Yeah. Could have made it easier by heating up the cases, but it's going to stink so bad and then put the torch to this. I really Especially don't want to do that. Same way, two fourteens. We loosen it and it should fall right on. Yeah. So when uh, West Virginia met came over, uh -huh. he brought a dog, he brought that tool, and he was squeaking. And Garrett had it for five minutes, he was dead. He's a surgeon. You would be a creepy guy in a horror movie. Make sure you get that squeaker out. There's something in here making noise. Yeah. No, I might kill it. <laughs> we'll take the tool apart and put it back in the box. That one, on the other hand, see this bearing in the back? Yeah. I'm just going to bang it back. All right. But 
not yet because there is a circling. So let's uh, rotate the engine. Scratch it? No. Okay. I'm just going to tighten it and then fairly easy. I'm going to use anything long enough to go in there. So we'll take the here all of this this break stuff off. Okay. Yeah. Just gotta get in there and find where the circuit sits. Okay. So there's a tiny circular. We'll get it when we take it out. Alright, so let me clean this up and then we move it on the bench here. We'll move the camera. Mark? Yeah. More stuff. Yeah, yeah, stuff. Looks like I'm getting a brand in and Carter from Scooter Swap Shop on my podcast. Yes, they're doing some great stuff for the 50C. You should come on there too at some point. Okay. So I want to hear your view of growing up with a bunch of scooter nuts. <laughs> That's a cussing. Not cussing, not drinking and cussing. Whee! We'll keep it CPS free. No, oh, thank you. Yep. I'm here to be helpful. And then, like I said, I, I would like you to ask me questions. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Neil Mary. Well, I've been doing them for BCOA, so a lot of good questions. Any of you call that, Joe? 
John and Seth and do a dealer profile on them. Are they sponsored? Uh, you know, they're about to the dealer. Okay. Uh, I need to call Burke. Sam in Indiana. I mean, there are a lot of people who are doing a lot of interesting things, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't be just for the American. Keep it rolling. Well, I'm doing it for the newsletter. So there, there, there's purpose. But, you know, like Kyle's Scooter Shop and you know, a lot of that. Oh, I'm getting Scooter Mercado. There are so many people who are, are involved in keeping this lifestyle alive. Maj, Maj, Mahout, Akhtar. If that is you in the profile picture, you got a glorious mustache. You see the mustache? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. He says hello from Pakistan. It's Pakistani yeah, mustache. Come on. I hear you. No one got anything yeah. on, on facial hair in that part of Asia. So what we're doing right now is first of all move the camera. Alright. Your wife is messaging me. Apparently she's going to see a movie. No, she's not cool. I think she's going to see a movie. Shazam's getting good reviews. <laughs> Shut up! You want to make sure you know me? There's something Ayate. somewhere. Something's happening. I have the perils. Do you see Ayate. this card up here? Yeah. Let's bend up. so they're easy to bend. So we got that uh, DNA that we got from the scooter source. The school breakdown, and I took that off and Thank you. put this on, and you can see the, the cleanliness. Difference. That didn't come from your bike. Okay. Do you know why? Why? It's clean. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to say, but I wasn't sure. These are the jokes. It's not a joke, it's a fact. <laughs> That's true. Legit. It's a funny fact. Should be uh no, it's all out. Here you go. Done. Next round done. So, I mean, it doesn't remove 
bus. Yeah. You know, uh, I got a vapor rust for that. I got the gel. We got we got to pull some more bearings on the other side, and then we can. Okay. Yeah. Um. But like I said, I'm probably gonna buy another couple of gallons of the vapor rust to just fill that tank, and uh, let it sit for five hours. It's trying to get through all the. It's trying to get through all the parts. piece of plastic basically takes the oil because the oil only sits up to here. Yeah. And it splashes it and just like when it so splashes it up. It from getting down there? No, it, it yeah. distributes it. Oh okay. Right. Older cases, P one P two hundred actually okay. these cases, mm -hmm. which are from the same time, they have a cast piece in there. Okay. And the, the newer ones they have a piece of plastic. I wanna pull these, let's try. So this is what's left the set of cases and studs and whatever. Okay. So we're going to parts washer and it's going to Now we take the other half. We don't need to pull this bearing. Okay. Um, that won't be fine if we wash it. It might slightly oxidize but once you put WD-40 or grease on it, it will kind of find it. Okay. So we can pull this bolt, that's where you fill your oil, we pull the kickstarter, we punch the kickstarter through, we we'll take this seal out and this bit. Okay. Where should I start? really about pushing real hard. I mean, you want to oh. push hard, but then you want to keep the pressure on there a little bit. Give it time to... Right. When taking it apart, sometimes brute force is necessary. But one thing's for sure, putting it together, you should never use brute force. Watch out, I heat it.
soon back. <laughs> yeah, this might be an issue. What have we got? A lot of it is seeping like that gunk in there. Oh. You should use the magnet. know what this is. Oh, it's holding the uh, hold in place? Yeah. Love. It's love. The strongest of bonding material. So gunked up in there, and so the kickstarter drive, right, has a little much in it. It's not right. like I can just pull it off. I gotta get this right, this bolt out. What's your next step after this? As I was say, I can fiddle with this one if you want to keep it going forward. Uh, the next thing would be to take the carburetor apart. Bring mm -hmm. this in there. Yep.
words of Michael Jackson. <laughs> Don't, don't breathe that in. Don't breathe that in. Huzzah! You did it right. You're not breaking anything. Woo! Please shut up. Unbroken. Yeah, that we know of. this out. I do have a puller tool that I can use, but I think this might be quickest. Don't put your hand on it, just, just like there, because the stuff can come falling out.
Yeah, like this guy can stay in. Yeah. Even if that complete, completely freezes, you can you can clean this up really easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. we, we should pull this guy now. Yeah. It needs. The same thing okay. we did earlier, but first let's clean it. So we have to put on the side. Streams better than it than I. Then you can watch. Then it comes back. Yeah, my internet here is not the best. So we're just doing the same thing as last time to pull out the bearing. Yeah, yeah. So we take this to guy, push it in. Again, if we would heat it up, it would be better, but this is going to stink. Mm -hmm. So bad. So bad. So we just double 14 again. Last time I'll hold it while you try and pull it. Too much. If, I, if you tighten it too much, it tightens against the barrier. in Chicago is trying to find a free roll as every day and tonight. And pizza's winning by a huge margin of the Chinese. Come on. Daddy, it is Chicago. 
They have their own style of pizza. It's not pizza, it's cake. <laughs> Savory cake. It's only one style of pizza. I guess this is supposed to go. Good. slipped out mm -hmm. and I just didn't do anything. The way here would have been to heat the cases, but no, thank you. Hot varnish? No? That sounds like a good Sunday. Pretty my much. favorite bands. Hot Dude, varnish? Got hot varnish down the billboard. <laughs> I mean, it's 85% more crazy talk when I'm on your live streams. <laughs> No heating and no forcing. And yeah. Maybe. For maybe. lucky. Maybe. For Why do you say that stuff out loud? Why do you be saying that out loud? You say the quiet parts out loud. At this point, you can lose the gloves because you'll. 
control, fingertip control. Left of it. No, it's fine. It's missing a lot of washers lately. You know what does what on this part? Kind of. Explain. Well. If I remember correctly, this is the idle jet, mm -hmm. and this is <laughs> the other jet it's called. Um, but like, it's the main jet. Yeah. The mystery jet. Okay, what does this do? I think that this like tightens down how much gas comes in from either one of these. I believe. I'm talking about this guy. Yeah, this guy. This is your idle jet. Uh, your idle screw. You okay. see your. Uh, so this is your slide. Yeah. Which does not move. Are you surprised? Okay. <laughs> Lots of things don't move yet. Okay, <laughs> wait. First don't move. Let's give you a lesson when it's coming back together. Okay. Right, start by taking the water. All right. It's mine. He <laughs> 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 all the bubbles are out. Yeah. They propelled it across the floor. Did you see it? It was, it was a rocket. It fell on the ground. This is a beer rocket. Is there one here? Yeah. yeah then don't split, don't split. I'm like, uh, don't split up the pieces. It's that one. The shiny one. Yeah, and the watch. Okay. Put all that stuff in the But leave them out. Yeah. You can see that one is longer.
varnish in there. No, don't. Enjoy. Yes. Yeah. That all gunked up? Yeah. 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 All gunked up. We'll get, we'll get back to this part. That's especially with the whole tank. Is good. So, next up, you can pull this guy, this guy, this guy, and the guy in the back there. Right. Look here, Lee. The fuel can even get through that. It's just, well, can you rest? Thank you so rusty. Yeah. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> Here, I got a piece of wire. I'm just going to run that. No, I just want to go through it. Let's get the parts washes. Yeah. Just want to see how we go. It's John's question. Thanks, John. Jesus. <laughs> Full of start laughs. And apparently 85% more crazy talk. At least. At least 85% more crazy talk. That's a guarantee I make coming in. Yeah. So it'll be on the podcast. Almost 85% more crazy talk. Thank you for that. Every other conversation is better. You can put your finger up because there's a spring. Eighty-five percent more crazy talk. He was the one training on the phone calls. I think these are three pieces, every single piece or something. This is your main jet. This is the stuff that. The last dispersion. Of this is the atom. Rubber pieces are not going to do That's a choke. You get the choke. Right there. The 
choke when you lift that basically allows an extra jet to provide fuel into your system. Yeah. So when your bike runs cold, you want to give it more, more of everything. And that's how it can have gas to start. Yes. It's also good when you go 75 miles an hour down the straight, you want to give it an extra fuel so it doesn't lean out. Does just, sound like just, you. No, just just a tip. We're still The Pinasco Racing Team does it on the track. They have a choke on their uh, on their handlebar to give it squirts of. This guy here, oh. you see one side is split and one side is not, yeah. so we can push it through that side and pull. That is usually easier said than done. Let's try it. No. Get a tiny grip on it, we can use a flyer or something. I don't know. Use it, it's, it's like the smell my finger thing. You never you never say yes to that. So this piece, right, when you get gas into your bowl here, mm -hmm. it'll float up and this will close your access to your gas. Okay. If this is busted and you need a rebuild kit, you probably have a new one. Yeah. Fuel just keeps running and running and running and running and will go down in the engine and everything will be flooded. And that can sink your tail and Yep. So it's important to you know, keep an eye on it and when you can replace it. What bike was it that we took out the carbon float actually had liquid in it? That was John. Yeah. Yeah. What was that mean? I don't know. I remember it happened to someone, me in a new car. It someone we know. It was a brand new car. We, we just did it. And it was John. It was John because we are trying to figure out why it wasn't. Yeah. And we took it out. We'll take all the paper off this. We're not going to put it in you can keep this rebuild kit and we can do this at home because I have another one. Big stuff. We'll go. We're gonna put some pine saw in it. And then we can take a break. When are you picking up carrot? I gotta figure that out. So. Do so, yeah. we want to wash the needle or just replace it? Huh? Needle. Yeah. 
Just replace the needle. Yeah, I would replace it, especially with all the varnish. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Would you start casing? Okay. Maybe down, so we'll put them on there. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. together. Even says card. Or is that you? Oh, it's it was in here. It was in here. Yeah, it was us. We put them all in bags last weekend. Good. we want, because this is spring loaded, and then we just want to squish it together, so we can take this retainer ring out, right. and then everything else will come forward. This kind of holds by itself, so what I can do. It just makes life. It's one of the things that we've learned today. Uh, it always like makes life easier to do things with the drill. So then, never speaks to all of you. Still kind of stuck because this guy is stuck.
I'll let you figure it out. Just like you, 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 uh, you want. No, outside, not inside. Outside first. Okay. Yep. Okay. So this bottom piece will just in there. This bottom piece. So these are all. They are stuck together. No, I shouldn't have my tongue out when I'm working with the press cleaner. No, yeah. no, you shouldn't. You have your tie. Close your mouth. Lesson learned. No. His tongue. No. You shouldn't have his tongue out. Either. So this is lesson learned. We're going to clean that with yeah. the brake cleaner. I'm Michael Jordan of press cleaner. Why? What'd you get in your mouth? Press cleaner. Solver. Yeah. Okay. Springs. Yeah, take them out. To get them on the pit. And we build it up. And this should have come up. It's rounded towards the inside. Mm -hmm. Right, and the round piece goes there. So it's nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The springs, they sit in, in these guys. So later, later on, we've got to make sure that they align. They only go. Only go if you were able to look like right now like this, the wind line. Yeah. This looks more like that. Actually, let's mark that. Sharpen it. Just let me go. Good job, Lee. <laughs> Scraper blade to take off this uh, this gasket. Uh, we'll get to that. Okay. I found um, oven cleaner works. It's just, it's just oh like yeah, that. Oven cleaner works best as a temp. Do you throw the cases in the oven? You have to throw the cases in the oven. Right? Yeah, not a, not. Uh, well, I have. Uh, <laughs> Tony's finasco cases in there because they were brand new. There's no oil so soaked in it. No uh, wait a minute. The trunk cases in the oven. This piece we can put the first one. resemble that more. This, I would if I could take this off. So let's see if we can heat it in. Maybe it'll come off. Yeah. I'll stand back then.
t-shirt you need. Don't worry. It's all good until I say oops. <laughs> when the aluminum fell off John's case, it's not so it's all about John's cases. John. That's good. So these will not be plated by hand. This can go in the parts one. This can go in the parts one. The That's plates in between the port knobs, but these plates in between. These will clean with the um, brake cleaner, brake cleaner, just put it in the washer. It's still the same product, so. Yeah. It still works. It just loves the spray. Grab paper gets from them. I like this. I can run a garage. You What's that? My, you could be my, and it could be my apprentice. There you go. At least actually it's coming nice quick though. So yeah, I, I talked to Seth yesterday about the event, you know, on 420. It'll be amazing. They're going to have all the bikes that you, you want to try. That's awesome. Out there, and um, you should bring a table. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. I'll do a table instead of a VCOA table. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, April 20th. Yeah. I have a, like, that's for the thing. But you know the party that you guys came to every year yeah. in the garage? Well, this year it's going to be public. So the plates on the set are so soaked and deep compared to the other side too. See how the brake cleanup dries it out? That's what we want. Okay. We're so soaked in gas, I put them on here, held the torch to it, and they caught fire. Same, same thing happened to that engine that, that uh, what happened to yours just because it's 
for a long time. Yeah. It just dried out. The rubber dries out. And I think it has to do, like, that's way more prevalent, prevalent in the U.S. What's up? That, you know, seals dry out. I really think that has to do with... Uh, ethanol? Ethanol, yeah. Uh, No, I thought this would come, wouldn't be that hard with this. No, and it looks real clean. I don't think this needs to go in Joe's company. No, yeah. I feel like, you know, let's have them all just get rain. I just Let's just put on a clean piece of paper. Up here. No, no, put it, put it over there. Or you can give it a wipe with the piece of paper you just have. Fairly easy. Dave, Dave asked, what kind of lifespan do you get out of those clutches? Honestly, What's that? what kind of lifespan do you get out of these clutches? I think the only time I saw a clutch burned up was Matt really abusing it at the Mary Vespa last year. <laughs> But it's mostly, we're, we're taking it apart right now because it was, the seals were busted and it was a mix of gas and oil. So everything is full of varnish. That's what we want to get rid of. You can get in there too. I can make it move. Yeah. Christy. Do that. I'm gonna go and, uh, here are the dishwasher. Not engine parts, Karen. You got very little time before Karen gets home. Hustle, hustle. Go, go, go.
Yeah, it looks so much better. What's up?
That's not a quick process. That takes a while. Kickstarting your air compressor? Yeah, I'm afraid. Need fresh glue solvent. <laughs> what? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. I'm making an excuse. All right. For my poor job. Well, I think we're done here, right? Yeah. So far. So next time we'll come back, we'll do. Put it back together. Yep. What day looks good for you this week, Lee? Nobody's got stuff Monday and Wednesday. Well, we got to get gases and seal them. Yeah, that's and true. Air. I know Metro has gases for sure. Seal now, I'm not sure. Uh, whatever you're working on, if that has a groove or not on the seal side, I don't have the seals. If it doesn't have a groove, I have metal seals, it's fine. We'll figure that out. Here is a groove. There's a groove, okay, we should get rubber ones then. I'll call it for you tomorrow.